What's up y'all? I'm Andy Story with Wild Lumens and today I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to make carnivore diet style beef short ribs in the crock pot aka slow cooker. Now if you're new to our channel and are interested in carnivore diet, ketogenic diet, and ancestral diet content then you're going to want to hit that subscribe button now because you'll be notified whenever we have something new come out. I'm pretty sure you're going to dig it and it lets us know we're doing a good job. But for now let's go ahead and dive on into this amazing easy to make recipe. Let's go ahead and talk about the tools we're going to need for this recipe. Like I was saying in the intro, we need a slow cooker, we're going to need some tongs, and we're going to need a pan because we will be searing our meat in the pan very shortly. This is what we're going to need for ingredients. Obviously we need our beef short ribs. These short ribs come from a quarter cow which we recently picked up uh, grass fed from a local rancher. You can see that video as well. I just did that video and kind of showed you how much freezer space you would need for a quarter cow. Very informative so check it out. Then we're going to need a little bit of either pork fat or tallow. Uh, the reason I use this is I just put it in the pan when we go ahead and sear the meat. Helps with a little bit of the flavor and just makes the steering a little nicer. Then we're gonna definitely need three to four cups of bone broth. This is what's gonna go in with the beef short ribs into the crock pot. This is some freshly made bone broth that I just recently made. Also gonna need salt. My favorite go-to salt is Redmond Real Salt. The reason I love this salt is because it's coming from a salt bed in Utah and it's not going to be contaminated with microplastics or other toxins that may be found in salt that comes from the ocean. The other really cool thing is that Redmond gives our viewers and readers of wildlumens.com up to a 15% discount when you use the coupon code WILD at checkout or go ahead and use the link below. It's definitely a great way to save some money. And our last ingredient is definitely not carnivore diet approved. So if you're trying to follow a very strict carnivore diet protocol, then by all means do not add this to your recipe. But if you do want to have a little bit of flavor and you don't have a problem with adding onion or rosemary, then by all means uh, put a little bit in. So all I did was chopped up a little bit of onion and a couple of rosemary sprigs that I'll be using in today's recipe. The reason being is I'm not only cooking for myself today, I'm cooking for other people including my family members that are not all carnivores so this way we can have a little bit of a compromise and I know personally it's not going to negatively affect my health all that much. So if you want to add flavor add some onions maybe some onion powder or uh, the rosemary sprigs and have fun but otherwise go ahead and disregard it. It's not that big of a deal. Your recipe is still going to taste good. Step one all we got to do is go ahead and add our salt to the meat. Go ahead and put on as much as you'd like, basically salt to taste. You just want to make sure that you're getting both sides. And there we go. I went ahead and salted all six pieces. Wait, two, four. Yeah, all six pieces of my uh, beef short ribs. Some people like to make less. Uh, I'm trying to fill up the crock pot with what I got. So you could do anywhere from two, four to six, depending on how much you want to make. All we got to do now is sear both sides of these pieces of meat. So let's head over to the oven. As you guys can see, I got a little bit of that pork fat in there. That's just going to help us sear these pieces of meat, our short ribs. So We'll sear each side for about a minute. All we got to do now is put our ingredients into the crock pot. But before we do, I'm going to make one small suggestion, and that is to pick up my friend Jessica Haggard's book, The Carnivore Cookbook. This book's going to have plenty of carnivore diet related recipes to help you on your carnivore diet adventure. It has made my carnivore cooking 10 times better and I've learned so much in this book. So go ahead, check out PrimalEdgeHealth.com and pick up this book today. Let's get to making this bad boy. All we got to do is put our pieces of beef in the crock pot and then add the bone broth, which is going to be around, I would say, three to four cups. And all you really want to do is add enough to where it hits the top of the meat. You don't have to go above that, really. 
So I used about almost a mason jar's worth. Uh, I don't know how much is in a mason jar, but I'm guesstimating four cups. And then if you wanna be a rebel or not, add your onions or whatever other plant kingdom material that you feel like putting in. Like I was saying before, this is definitely not carnivore diet protocol for the strict ones out there, but I'm going ahead and adding it because I'm not the only one eating these tonight or tomorrow, I should say. And finish it up by adding a little bit more salt. And then this way, the broth will taste a lot better. And when you're all done cooking, you can actually use it as kind of like a soup or a broth in general. And it's gonna taste really, really good. Let's go ahead and put the cover on. Set this to low and let it sit for about seven to eight hours. The longer you let it sit, the easier the meat is gonna come off the bone. Uh, when I made these the last time, I did the eight hours and that was the perfect amount of time where it just slid right off and the meat tasted perfect. So today we're gonna try seven to eight, depending on uh, what time I get really, really hungry. All right, guys, our beef short ribs are finally done. I ended up slow cooking them for eight hours. They didn't get done until around a little after 10 o'clock last night when I was gonna do the video, but I was a little too tired. So what I did is I put this slow cooker in the fridge overnight, and then this morning, I put it back on for about 30, 45 minutes just to warm it up on low. And now our short ribs are ready to be eaten. They look phenomenal, smells amazing, and I am extremely hungry. So what I'm gonna do is just do a quick little bite so you guys have my reaction to how tasty these are. And they slide right off the bone, really, really easy to eat. So let's do a quick little bite. As suspected, taste great. I highly recommend this recipe. Go out, get yourself some beef short ribs at the grocery store, or if you can get in touch with a butcher and a rancher, go ahead and buy a whole cow because you will definitely have enough short ribs to last you for a while. Thank you guys for watching. I look forward to uh, making another video and seeing you guys shortly.